What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Before we get started with this video, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell. Um, I do have a little package in, straight in from zsgrind.com. Y'all make sure y'all go visit my boy Zay that y'all be seeing in the videos. He did draw some new merch. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there so y'all can see it. Definitely a dope shirt. Go ahead and open it up. And boom, you have it here. It's his uh, Justice for Breonna Taylor shirt. Here's a little details on it right here. As you can see right here, it's a black woman wearing a shirt that says Justice for Breonna Taylor. And then at the bottom, she's wearing a white and green Air Jordan 4. Hopefully y'all can see that. So yeah, man, very, very dope. Um, artwork, artwork is designed by Keys um, himself. I'm gonna go ahead and tag him as well so y'all can see his work. And this is the back of the shirt right here. It just says Justice for Brianna Taylor, ZS Grind. So just thought for a fact, I should throw that in there, man. Enough of that for now, man. Y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Link is gonna be in the bio. Boom, this is what y'all came for right here. Y'all saw the title, y'all wanna see a review. Let's go ahead and read the box label. Box label reads Air Jordan 13 Retro. Colorway is white, lucky green. Black, Blanc, Nor, Vert. Um, I think Ireland, Ireland is, or Ireland Diaz. Maybe. Retail was 190, size 11. Also, shout out to my boy ZS Grind for that, allowing me to review the shoe. Another quick thing before we get started too, just kind of show y'all something, man. The older boxes does have larger font. So you see how this, uh, he got game box, has a 10 and a half, how bold it is. And then this one is small. Make sure, make sure y'all looking out for that to make sure y'all peep the fakes. Try to watch out and be aware of the fakes because a lot of people are selling fakes. Go ahead and lift the lid, boom. Um, no stamping the lid at all. You got your standard white tissue paper, nothing special about the tissue paper at all. Boom, we have it here. The Air Jordan 13, Lucky Green. Yeah, man, as you can see it right here. Definitely, definitely, definitely dope color blocking. Um, Go ahead and start with the bottom. As you know, like I told you, these shoes are designed after a panther, a black cat. Um, you have your white paw prints right here. White paw prints back here for the traction. You have your hits of green in the middle of the paw prints for that traction. Right there, you have that carbon fiber at the bottom. You have a green holographic bubble with a black jump man um, and your hits of green at the bottom as well. You work your way back to the midsole. Um, again, you're gonna see your black pods first, right there, all the way around. And then you're gonna have this suede, green suede. And I must say this green suede is very, 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 very nice. Very nice suede. I think it's a dope, dope suede on it. Do a full 360 on that midsole, it's all green. You get to the upper, you know, let's see. Nice little leather, it's a nice leather. Pretty stiff right now, you know, over time 13s do break in. So right now it's a very stiff leather. It's, it's tumbled, but it's not broken and tumble. It's very stiff. So you have to probably break that in. Um, upper is white. Tongue is all white with white shoe strings. Um, you do have your hit of your Jordan hit right there in black and green. Um, here's the holographic ball right there. Showing that two, three. Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, you got your hits of green all the way back uh, up the collar, back collar of the heel, and at the collar of the sneaker as well. You got your hits of green. They're calling it Lucky Green. Um, Celtic Green to me, Lucky Green. Either way, it's still a nice looking green. Work your way to the tongue again. You got a green jump man. And the biggest thing is you got the black guts in the inside right there. It's glued down a little bit, but not too much to where you can't pull it out. You do have a green insole with a black jump man and there's a sizing tag right there also here's the back of the insole right here yeah this is how the inside looks right there for any legit check purposes and it is uh as i can see white stitching throughout the insole area as far as tagging this is how the tags look right there hopefully that's showing pretty good um these actually uh as far as creation dates or tag label dates is from um, production date January 8th 2020 to uh, I believe May May 15 2020 yeah UPC number 0019449772 so yeah man very dope shoe very dope colorway 
To me, it's just something I don't need. I personally would have preferred for this sock liner to be white, so it can be closer to the Ray Allen 13s. It's not a bad shoe, don't get me wrong. It's a very, very dope shoe. Paws are black, and I believe on the Ray Allens, the paws are white. So paws being white and the black sock liner being white would turn these into the uh, Ray Allen 13s. Personally, because of that, that's why I wasn't personally feeling it for myself. Again, very fire shoe, very dope shoe. I just personally think it's not for me just because of those reasons because I'm so used to wanting the Ray Allen 13s. A lot of people said that's why they actually wanted to grab it because it had the black sock liner. I do appreciate the black sock liner because now the shoe won't get dirty if I was to buy it, but sizing, sizing on these joints. Um, always go true to size. I will never go a half size up. You can try to get away with going a half size down, but me personally, I will go true to size. If you want a snugger feel, you can go half size down, but me, I wear a 10 and a half, so I get a 10 and a half in Air Jordan 13s. Try to get a 10 before, after a few hours, or even trying to work for a, a whole day, the size 10 was hurting my feet. So go true to size, go true to size, go true to size. You want a snugger foot, go a half size down. Why I feel people just stay true to size, my opinion, true to size. Again, very nice shoe. It's just something I don't have to have right now in the collection. I could always double back on these, but right now it's just not nothing I need. But these did sell out locally. They did numbers $300 for men's. Uh, kids was like $225, $250. Again, this is in my local area. Some areas, they're probably still sitting. They might be having some for retail. Somebody not, might not even be charging that much, but in my area, that's what they were going for. StockX, they were going for that price around that time yesterday but it may be a little bit lower now. So you still might be 270, 260, almost 300, but you know, you gotta wait two, three weeks for it. So it's all about supply and demand. Some people beat me up about that, but it's all about supply and demand. But yeah, definitely a nice shoe, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the shoe. Is it worth it? Did you grab it for your collection? Um, can't do on feet because it's not my shoe, but I will be having an on feet of my Air Jordan 13. He got games, breads, and my Flint 13 is coming soon. So, you know, be prepared for some on feet pictures of some 13s. This one specifically will not be an on foot because it's not my size and it's not my personal pair. But yeah, man, here's another 360 look at the shoe. Very nice shoe. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Before y'all head out, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell. Thank y'all for watching, man. You know how it goes down over at my channel. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Until tomorrow.